Hi, this is a lesson on how to factorise expressions. Factorising is the opposite of expanding. So as you can see here, if you expanded 3x plus 4, you get 3x plus 12. So factorising the opposite and putting it back into the brackets. To fully factorise, you need to make sure you've picked the highest common factor in the expression to make sure it is fully factorised. So if we have a look at these examples here, so this is a nice simple one. So we have a look at this expression 2x plus 4. And if we're factorising it, we need to think what's the biggest number that goes into both 2 and 4, which is 2, and that's going to go on the outside of your bracket. You go, how do you get from 2 to 2x? It'll be an x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 to a plus 4 is a plus 2. If then we're looking at this next one, again, you need to make sure you pick the correct factor because obviously you've got three that goes into both, but six is the largest number that goes into both. So it'll be six. And then how do you go from six to six W? W. And how do you go from six to 18? Be a positive three. The next one, again, it just includes a negative sign, so you do exactly the same. Think about what's the biggest thing that goes into 15h and minus 20, or the biggest thing that goes to both is 5. And then you go, how do you go from 5 to a 15h? Well, 5 times 3 is your 15, don't forget your h. Then how do you go from 5 to a negative 20? It will be a minus 4. The next one, Again, a little bit more difficult. So you think, right, what is the what's common? What's in both 4x squared and 8x? We're looking at the numbers. You've got your highest common factor as 4. And then looking at the numbers, oh sorry, the letters, you have got an x that is common. So you've got a 4x on the outside. And then you go, how do you go from your 4x to 4x squared? Well, you'd have to multiply it by an x. And then going from 4x to an 8x, it would be a plus 2. Like that. So that's obviously it gets a little bit harder because you've got your numbers and some letters in both. Going to your next one, again, getting that even a little bit harder again. So this time, again, look at your numbers, that's common. So you've got 2, that's common. You've got an x squared, an x there, so you've got an x common and a y. And then how do you go from 2x squared to a sorry 2xy to a 2x squared y? Well, the only thing that's missing there is your x to get that x squared. And then a 2xy to a positive 8xy would be plus 4. So that's there fully factorized. Again, example 6, even again, it looked more difficult, but you do it exactly the same method. Look at your numbers, what's common. Again, the biggest number that's common is 4. You've got an x to the power of 4 and an x squared. So pick the highest power that goes into both. So x squared is the highest one that fits into both. So x squared on the outside. And then look at your y, power 5 and a y. So you can just take a y out there. Again, then check what you need to multiply. So to 40, 16, you've got 4. To go from an x squared to an x to the power 4, you need an x squared. Remember, you add your powers when you multiply them. And then to go from a y to the y to the power of 5, you need y to the power of 4. Plus 3 to get from your 4 to your 12. We've got the x squared and we've got the y, so it's just a plus 3. There we go. So hopefully there... You've had enough examples there to have a look at how to factorise into your single brackets. Have a go at these questions. Again, as the points go down, it's the harder it gets. So pause your video here and work through those questions. Hopefully, you've, all had, you've had a go at those questions and mark your answers. Right then, that there is 
your basic factorizing into a single bracket.